Uh, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. So today's video is going to be pretty short and to the point. Um, but the reason I, and I had I had been going back and forth <clears throat> about even making this video in the first place, but after I had a conversation with somebody, um, they convinced me that I should. So I will. Um, I honestly wasn't even sure I was going to make a video anytime soon at all. But, uh, you know, I've been thinking about it. So let me tell you what guys, let me tell you guys what's going on anyway. So today is Monday. Last Thursday, our house burned down. Well, it was one of three houses that burned down. So uh, an abandoned house that's been abandoned for way, way, way too long. Two houses down from me caught on fire. And then that house, of course, took out our neighbor's house and our house. Um, everybody's fine. The kids are good. Everybody's good. And as of right now, we are staying with a family member. And um, but you know, fire damage wise, it wasn't as bad as of course the 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 house that caused the fire is, is down. Then they tore the other neighbor's house down. Our house is probably going to end up being destroyed. We definitely can't move back in there. Uh, fire damage wise, it didn't destroy a lot as far as that goes. I mean, we can't really take nothing out of there, but we did have like, well, we grabbed our wallets and stuff on the way out. We had to grab the kids up and leave out real, you know, ASAP. But um, we grabbed those. I was able to go back in and get like, you know, my file cabinets and all of our like important paperwork. I actually went back over there today to grab the rest of the stuff. Uh, but everything else is like, it's pretty much gone. The one good thing, well, not the one. <laughs> There's a lot of good things, okay? The first is that we all made it out without any harm. We was actually all about to go to bed. It was about 1140 at night, and we was all on the way, basically about to call it a night, man. And then the oldest teenager said there was something on fire, and before I even knew what was really going on, I was just like, get everybody out the house. And then once we got out there and seen what was happening, I'm just like, uh, that's not good. But, um, you know, thank God we all made it out safe. Also, thank God that there's been a lot of people that have been helping us. Like when I tell y'all that the community outreach has been overwhelming, but like in a good way, I can't even put it into words, man. Like we won't need anything. Uh, we don't need anything right now as far as like the essentials go. You know what I mean? Um, the kids is doing as well as kids could do. You know, you, you'll never really know. I, I kind of tried to sit with each one of them and talk to them, but you'll never really know for sure, for sure. I'm sure that they hurt. You know what I mean? They did their little bit of crying and stuff, but uh, I honestly don't know if they hurt more about uh, the house not being able to live in the house or losing their electronics, but. <laughs> That's the first thing they asked about. Anyway, um, but yeah, the community outreach, community outreach has been like above and beyond anything you, that one could expect. Because when it happened, I don't know. I, you know, in my mind, I'm thinking like, man, I, you know, I gotta figure out how we gonna deal with this. It never even crossed my mind that there would be a lot of people helping us. So it's been a lot of people, a lot of people. Um, my brother started a GoFundMe. I think my wife's job started one. I've had, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> I had a bunch of people sending me money through like uh, Venmo and stuff like that. So, and if I'm not mistaken, when like Red Cross said when, well, they did give us like funds and they gave us a bunch of stuff. They helped us get uh, more medicine for my son, one of my sons anyway. But they said when we do find a place, they'll help us with the first month rent and security, so on and so forth. So I think far as that goes, man, we should be good. One another thing too, uh, this is even like just how good people is, man. My accountant had heard about it and he had messaged me and asked me what happened. And I'm like, yeah, man, he was one of the ones. So he was like, listen, I'm going to refund you the payment for this month, and then you don't have to pay me until next year. <laughs> oh, boy. I can't even tell you. Like, I was not even, I wasn't expecting that. You know, for, to me, because there's the thing, I moved my business out the house years ago 
thank God. Uh, so my business was not affected in any way as far as that goes because all my inventory right, right now where I'm at right now is a separate location from my inventory, but everything's uh, split up. So thank God for that. But um, I wasn't expecting him to say that. I was, you know, prepared to keep that going as, as it should. But a lot of blessings, man. A lot of blessings. And, you know, I, I wasn't going to. The main reason I wasn't going to make this video and talk about it was because, like, I didn't want, like, one, I don't like putting my business out there like that. You know, I was honestly, I was just going to kind of like maybe not make a video for a while and then eventually just come make a video and just like continue as though everything was fine. But then when I was talking to somebody, he's like, man, you part of the community. You got to like just let them know. You know what I mean? I know you don't like people being in your business, but that ain't the point. Because here's the thing. If it had happened to one of you guys, like what would I want? What I want to know so that I can help? Or, or whatever, just to show some support. And so the answer to that would be, of course, like if there was people out there in the reselling community, especially ones that I really mess with like that and something like this happened, I would definitely want to know. You know what I mean? So, so yeah, so yeah. Um, But yeah, man, been a lot of good people out there. A lot of good people. We'll be fine though. We'll be fine. Um, Probably it probably affected me more these last couple of days than it did like the first day or two. You know what I mean? Anything can happen at any time. Another another thing that I was going to another reason that I did decide to make the video was this. There's gonna be somebody out there watching this, right? Whether it's right now when I when I first upload it or later, who is going to go through something. And it's going to be probably one of the most difficult things you ever had to deal with. And it's going to make you like have questions and question everything. And it's going to be a challenge, man. Like, you know, this is a challenge. It's not it's not easy. You know, we just lost everything. Right. So it's not it's not. Well, we ain't lose everything, but we lost just about everything. But um, we got everything that matters, though. You know what I mean? We got everything that matters. But there's going to be somebody watching this that's going to be going through something. And it's going to be one of the most challenging events in your life, right? And you ain't going to know what to do. And you're going to want to give up. You know, one of the things about me, when I have adversity and stuff, now this is a good and a bad thing for me. I have I, I continue on as usual because that's how I cope and deal with stuff. Like I can Now, it's a good thing because I don't get stuck and stagnant, right? Because one of the things that can lead you into that depression hole is being stuck and not wanting to get up and not being motivated to do stuff. Like I do stuff. I continue on. If there's work, I go to work. I didn't, <laughs> it's just, you know, but that's a bad thing too, because you do, you don't give yourself time to, um, you know, just to process stuff and, and deal with it like you should. So it can kind of hit you later on. But, um, you know, Again, and that's another reason I'm making this because if you're going through something, yeah, you got to take the time out to deal with what's in front of you, whatever that situation is. Uh, it could be a fire. It could be a loss, um, anything, right? Whatever it is. But what you can't do is stop and give up, right? You can't, man. You got to keep going. Look, I I, I guess I could have. I never put my stories on um vacation mode or nothing now look has somebody got hurt or worse it would it'd be a, it'd be a whole different story right it'd be a whole different story so this is all based on the outcome of the situation you know had somebody got hurt or worse we we i probably wouldn't even making this video at all yeah i probably would make no more videos but but praise god that ain't the case and so given that outcome you can push on, right? Uh, but that's the whole thing, right? I didn't put my stores on vacation. I've been still dealing with what we gotta deal with. You know, you gotta you gotta hold have mail be held. I gotta call the utilities and have those things shut off and or you know, yeah, you know all that's good stuff. I, you know, just everything. Here's here's another thing I was telling my wife to help too. I said, listen, here's one of the good things if we want to look for something good because I always like to look at the cup as half full. I said, hey, because Thursday, she was about to go to work Friday because it was her last day. 
And then the kids was done with school. So I'm like, look, the kids are done with school and you ain't got to go to work. You know, so imagine like if this happened and it was like mid mid school year, um, you know, you still had to worry about work and school. Yeah, they might take off a little bit, but you only can do that for so long. And there's another good thing. She still gets paid for the summer, uh, even though she ain't got to go work because she's a teacher. So there's always that's, you know, and this goes back, man, to what I, I always say this. Now, I never had to put this in this light when I had to deal with something this challenging. But I say this over and over on my channel is perspective and how you see things. And that'll determine how you deal with it. That'll determine how you deal with it and what the outcome will be. Um, it's two things about life. Uh, is that. Uh, Life is going to uh <laughs> life is gonna shit on you with or without your consent. <laughs> it's just it's just gonna happen, man. It don't matter if you want it or not. Eventually it's gonna do it, you know? And but here's the other thing, it's gonna continue to move on with or without your consent. So you might as well just go ahead and be like, all right, you got me, but I'm gonna just keep it going, all right? I'm gonna keep pushing. And so that's what I do. I just keep pushing, man. I, I try to figure out a way to not only just cope, but to continue on. You know what I mean? Because it's not going to stop. The kids still got to be taken care of. And that's the other thing. Like, the kids need to be able to see uh, they, they mom and dad um, as a source of, like, inspiration. Because it, regardless of what they feeling, because they're going through their own feelings, they need to be able to look at us and, and know that everything is going to be okay, which is what I told them to. But they need to be able to see that. So you have to project that strength. And then whatever you got to, in my opinion, whatever you kind of deal with with yourself, you kind of deal with off to the side when you're by yourself. But, I mean, for the most part, for the most part. I mean, there have been moments where, like, I get that sick feeling in my stomach. You know what I mean? It's like, ah, oh, shit, man. But, I mean, I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't see myself breaking down. Like I said, everybody, listen. Listen, and I mean this like literally, man, like as much as I can say this, I got everything I need in this life as far as after that event. And that's the people, my kids and my wife. And and this is literally what I was thinking, man, um, during the whole situation. I'm like, dang, this is crazy, right? It was so surreal. Um, but I'm like, you know, everybody's here. And I kept like counting the kids over and over again, man. I just had to make sure, right? But I'm like, this is crazy. But I literally was like, oh, we'll figure it out, you know? Now, And I still wasn't thinking about all the help that people was offering. I, 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 <clears throat> I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that. So, but my point is, no matter what you're going through right now, no matter what you're going through, somebody is always, it's always going to be somebody going through something worse than you. You might think that what you're dealing with is bad, but somebody's dealing with something worse. We made it out the house. I know people in families who never made it out the house. I know people who lost their whole families in situations like that. Nobody made it out. Not woman, not man, not child. Nobody. So you got to always be thankful for what you got. People complain about like every little thing. And they don't realize all the blessings that they got, man. Look, I didn't necessarily need this event to let me know how blessed I was. But sometimes things happen to let you know how blessed you are. You know what I mean? You are going to be going through something. If you ain't already going through it, something going to happen. And it's just you think it's going to be just about you, but it ain't just about you. Sometimes, man, what you go through is for other people, too. You know, it's for other people, too, for you can be an inspiration to them. Um. There's always somebody going through something worse. So don't cry about it. Don't cry too long anyway. Depending on what it is, you might have to shed a tear or two. But uh, you can't be stuck. You can't stay stuck. You got to keep moving. You got to keep moving. And that's what we're going to do. And so, um, yeah, man, I appreciate everybody who, who rock with my channel, too. I ain't got a bunch of subs or nothing like that. You know, I got a few, few views here and there on my videos. But all y'all who rock with me and, and support me, I appreciate y'all.
letting y'all know that now. I appreciate y'all, man. So that's really who I made the video for, for the people that really rock with me. And then for the people who come, who going through something, who might just stumble upon this video and you like, man, I got so much to deal with. I can't even do this thing right now. I can't resell. I can't do this. Or whatever it is, you might be something you might been wanting to do, but something happened in life and now you're so distracted that you just don't think it's worth it to continue on with that. Don't stop. Don't stop doing it. Keep going, man. It's going to get better. And you know what? Like, here's one thing I had to tell myself because I don't like to ask for help, you know, and that's a bad thing um, sometimes. But I told myself, you know, you got to let people help you, man. You got you to gotta let people help you. Sometimes, you know, you, you, that some people's blessings is based on them helping you. You know what I mean? You can't just reject that. Even if you don't need it, if they reach out to help, just accept it. Even if you don't need it. Just accept it, man. It's a blessing. And if you really, really can't use it, then bless somebody else. You know what I mean? But that's the one thing I, I, I just tell myself, like, I just, let me just, you know, I put it out there. And if people want to help, they can help. It's fine. But I'm glad, I'm glad I, like, I had to learn that. You know what I mean? I can't be stuck in just me because that's just too much stress. When you try to just do it all by yourself, that's too much, especially in a situation like this. Like, no one person can deal with it. You know what I mean? Not by themselves. So that is the reason for this video, man. And if there's anybody out there going through something right now, keep your head up. Keep your head up, man. Keep your head up. It gets better. It's the old saying, man. People say, get greater later. You know, everybody, look, it rain and then the sunshine, and the sunshine after the rain. I was just thinking about the whole fire thing, and I was like, you know, you got fire, fire purifies, but also, a lot of times after the fire, you get new growth. You know what I mean? You get forest fire, it burns down all the trees and all that. But after some time, you get new growth, right? That's how I look at it. New growth. So we got new opportunities in front of us. And we got new new, new, new life experiences coming. And that's kind of how I look at that whole situation. That's how I look at this whole situation. But um, I appreciate y'all, man. Listen, I'm not going to put... Uh, no, um, what you call it? I'm not going to put no GoFundMe link in the comments or nothing like that. I ain't doing all that. That ain't what I made this video for, but, um, we, people been helping us out a lot, so we should be good, but, um, appreciate y'all, man. I am going to continue to do what I got to do to make sure that me and my family good, but I'm also, I got to keep my eyes focused on what I got going on here. You know, God blessed us to make it out and be okay. And so, because I still have the opportunity to kind of still focus on these things. I'm going to be able to do that. And I'm still going to focus on what we got to do now. Pretty much at this point, we just got to find a new place to live for the most part. That's pretty much it. We just got to find somewhere to live and everything else has been taken care of. So thankful for that, man. So thank you. And that's it, man. I'll talk to you all again soon.